Hey guys, Country Life Gaming here. Let's talk about the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition and why it's not so definitive. As you'll see, you're going to have some glitches and bugs on the screen as you're watching this video. Um, credits are going to go out to who they belong to. But let's start out by saying that I just think that it is ridiculous that this game has launched in this state. It's sad. I remember when the PlayStation 2 era was around, and we grew up with these games. A lot of us did, um, if if you're old enough to remember. But this is not the definitive edition that Rockstar is touting. This is an embarrassment. I mean, look, this car is spinning out of control in the middle of the road. It's just ridiculous. And not only that, character models are wonky. There has been no response from Rockstar at all, not that I've seen, that's really explained why they released this game in this kind of state and especially not giving out no review codes to any of the reviewers ahead of time it just draws a red flag it drew a red flag for me from day one i've been keeping up with this story i didn't want to just post a video kind of half-baked until i had some more information on it but as you can see and as you've heard if you've watched the news it's been just terrible terrible uh a launch so far with wonky character models, glitches out the wazoo, as you can see. Just, and it, it's a $60 game. Let me remind you, it is a $60 game. And they've pulled all the other versions of GTA off the stores. This is the only way that you can play the game. And that is unacceptable. The PlayStation 2 era games were better than this way better than this. Rockstar, what are you doing? This is a cash grab at its best. There was no love put into these games at all, and it's a shame. These games are some of the most beloved games in the series. The trilogy, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City were some of the best games. It, 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 Rockstar became who they were because of these games. They completely exploded the genre of open world games. And seeing them in this state kind of hurts the heart a little bit. Um, and Rockstar needs to patch these. You know, it's unacceptable when you talk about a game coming out and needs to be patched. People's like, oh, let's just wait for the patch. They'll patch it and then we can play it. It shouldn't be that way. Games should come out finished. And I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but, but the games should be finished when they come out, when they launch. It shouldn't be, oh, we're going to get it working, and then, you know, we'll figure it out later with patches. It shouldn't be like that. And I think that it's just ridiculous. This is a very beloved game, and I just feel like it's unacceptable. The rain is terrible. As you can see, I mean, CJ's face here is just, it looks like a nightmare movie. And I don't see how Rockstar, how this passed inspection to be put out day one. Whoever was supposed to review this completely dropped the ball. They completely dropped the ball. It, it, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. And, and I don't really know what to say. I mean, look at these rain effects particles. I'm just going to take a second and let you look at this footage. This is 2021 rain, folks. Running in the Unreal Engine 4. It's just so sad. It really is. It's sad. And uh, I, I really hope that Rockstar addresses this because this is absolutely ridiculous. And, and with them offering no refunds, I think that's a shame, too. Uh, we all love to pick on Cyberpunk and CD Projekt Red when Cyberpunk came out. But at least they knew that they had a broken product and they did offer some type of half ass refund policy. Okay? But Rockstar is not offering a no refund policy. And it's just, it's terrible. It's just terrible. But look, I just want to make a quick video and just say how, how disappointed I am. And I know that all of you are probably disappointed as well. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you sad that your beloved games like this, if you grew up playing these, are in this state? Are you sad? Are you upset that you can't buy them no other way, that you have to buy the broken mess if you want to play the game? 
let me know down in the comments below. And guys, once again, thank you so much for the support of the channel. I know that I haven't been coming out with a lot of content lately, but thank you, thank you to the ones that are sticking around. I really appreciate it. Lord Rockstar. What went wrong? Where's the rock star of the old days? All right, guys. I'll see you soon.